Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So guys, today onwards, we are going to start with the uh, set collection API in Java. And it's very simple, but very unique. And uh, as compared to list, it's uh, slightly different. We have, uh, you can see over here that we can have a hash set, then we have a linked hash set, sorted set, navigable set, and the tree set. But along with that, we have a couple of other classes also and a couple of other uh, you know interfaces are available which is actually extending the set interface so this is a very high level but people might ask you at a time of interview that uh, complete hierarchy diagram for the set so very quick short video but uh, also one thing that <clears throat> set stores only unique values it does not store any duplicate values second thing is that it provides some mathematical operation also all the set mathematical operations like uh, you can union you can intersection you can get the all the values you can remove the common values like that so all basic mathematical operation we will see in upcoming chapters so today one quick video that what is a set hierarchy which is like quite famous interview question people might ask you so this is very high level so let's talk about a quick hierarchy in the form of interfaces in the classes please try to understand very very important chapter so the first thing that we have already seen that we have uh, this collection interface is available so I quickly create this particular collection interface without wasting our time. So let's see this. Uh, I would say this is also not a rectangle, but let's see this is a collection interface is available, right? That is on the top. And then when we have uh, one interface is available, guys, that is called set interface over here. So this is my set interface, right? And then the set interface is actually extending this particular collection interface i would say then under this particular set interface guys we have uh, one more interface that is called sorted set so i quickly write over here let's see this is my sorted set right so i simple write that is my sorted set sorted set so this is again an interface so interface i'm uh, creating with the help of uh, a rectangle and the classes i'll be creating with okay with circle now this particular sorted set having one class so let me create a class over here this is called hash set class so i quickly write this is the hash set class okay so circle means class and uh, class is actually implementing sorted set okay so hash set is actually the implementation of set interface as well along with the sorted set okay then this hash set is actually having one more class that is called linked hash set so i can create one more class over here this is uh, remember guys uh, linked hash sets and we will talk about all these classes and everything in the upcoming chapters so i'm going to create this is my linked hash set okay okay perfect now this class is the child of hash set so extending this particular Hash set class. Then, along with that, guys, we have one more. Uh, I would say interface is available. That is called abstract set is available. So I quickly create one abstract set interface over here, and uh, let me give a name. Name is abstract set. This is again an interface, and this interface is actually extending set interface, child of set interface over here. And then this abstract set is having actually two important classes. One is, I would quickly write that as a tree set. Another one I'm going to write that is enum set, also very interesting. In JDK 1.5, it got added. And uh, let's see, this is my a tree set. So we will see what do you mean by tree set? And uh, we will see one more thing that is called enum test. Oh, sorry, <laughs> enum set, not test. Enum set over here, right? So enum set is available since JDK 1.5, and they both are actually implementing. Uh, okay, so this abstract set is guys not an interface. This is an abstract class actually. So sorry, my mistake. This is abstract class actually. So I quickly create one. Um, I can write it over here that, okay this is abstract class actually so let me write it over here this is okay so to avoid the confusion abstract class now 
this abstract class is uh, implementing set interface and now this a tree set this tree set class is actually extending abstract set and this enum set is also extending abstract set over here like that okay and uh, this hash set also is extending abstract set so here we have one more hierarchy uh, one more link between these two guys hash set is also the child of abstract set along with sorted set implementation and so this is a complete uh, set hierarchy then we have guys that is one class if you remember that uh, in array okay in the list actually not in array sorry in the list hierarchy that is uh, remember this thing people might ask you that we have one more class that is called copy on write array set if you remember that okay copy on write we have already covered this particular chapter so i quickly write this is my uh, copy on write array copy on write array set actually so just like that we have uh, in array <clears throat> uh, in array list also copy on write array list we have copy on write array set and uh, this is one of the class not not that important but we will see about this class also which is also uh, extending this particular uh, abstract set as well so let's this is the main hierarchy of set guys this is very important so don't be confused i know it's slightly confusing but please prepare this particular question create this particular diagram multiple times and then i think you are good to go so i would quickly say that hash set if we start with hash set is actually implementing so i would say this is my implementation and this is my extending so this is this guy is extending tree set is also uh, extending this particular class copy on write array set is also extending enum test is uh, enum set is also extending this is we have already seen that okay uh, interface to interface this is extending abstract set is actually implementing set interface so i quickly write implements over here and then linked hash set which is a class and uh, this is also extending uh, hash set over here so hash set is also a class a parent class of this guy and uh, linked hash set i quickly write it got introduced in jdk 1.4 okay i would say 1.4 and this enum set and the copy on write array set got introduced in jdk 1.5 not that important but if someone is asking you you should know that okay about this and uh, yeah so this is the complete hierarchy and uh, because even i get confused sometimes between uh, hash set and abstract set is also there between the set interface like that and along with the sorted set interface so this is interface and this is abstract class guys don't be confused with that okay so we will see one by one all those things so we majorly we will see hash set we will see linked hash set we will see tree set and then we will see the enum set along with the copy on write array set as well so these are the four or five important classes implementation of the set interface ultimately they all are coming from the set interface it means whatever the methods that you have defined over here in set the implementation is available in these uh, respective uh, classes over here like that okay so take the screenshot of this and uh, practice it and uh, let me know if you have any issues so that's all for this particular video i'll see you in the next video along with all these implementation methods and everything for these classes thank you so much guys